It is 7 p.m. in the city of Kazan. In Russia, we pronounce as Kazan. Kazan. Softly and softly. Kazan. Here is a Moscow time. A little bit far fetched, by the way, because let's say sunset here is uh, today will be at 8:32 p.m. Uh, and uh, let's say in Ulyanovsk, it's like more correct, which is just in uh, 200 kilometers from here. It's uh, 9:30 p.m. This is uh, the central place, the main place of Kazan, the capital of the Republic of Tatarstan, Kazan Kremlin, and that's where we go now. Please keep joining, Valeria Martinez. Good morning, good morning, Sergey. Good morning, Valeria. Good morning uh, from all of my family. Good morning, uh, all uh, uh, subscribers and. Good morning to uh, all um, uh, who watch this uh, live stream. Let's uh, listen to the bells a little bit more while people are joining. Awesome sound of the bells. Okay, so 20th of uh, June 2020, my name is Sergei Baklakov, together with me, my family, Albina, my wife, and uh, my daughter, Victoria, Victoria Baklakova, Albina Baklakova, Sergei Baklakov. Yes, I'm Baklakov, they are Baklakova, Baklakova. In Russian language, you need to add A if it's a female, if it's a for female. We now came to Kazan, which is uh, be, be, appeared to be the next city in our Russian trip 2020. Uh, at first, uh, we started in Ufa, just got a car from Avis, uh, and uh, we've got to Samara at first, then to Ulyanovsk, and now came to Kazan. Also today, in a lunch time before to get to Kazan, we also get, got to uh, uh, the place which is in 65 kilometers from Kazan, the unique town island of uh, Sviyarsk. You can check it out. There's really like an island, small, a small island, maybe six, seven hundred meters uh, on uh, six, seven hundred meters. Uh, not a big one, but awesome, awesome. Check it out. Now we are in Kazan and uh, let's get it started. Okay, you see, I uh, stopped talking and they stopped the bells. That means I did everything right. And uh, this is a great beginning for today's live stream. Yes, this is a live stream just from my iPhone and a steady cam for an iPhone. Victoria, what do you know about uh, the city, the city of Kazan? Kazan is a Russian city, the capital of uh, Republic of Tatarstan. Um, the large uh, port uh, on the uh, left bank, uh, bank um, uh, of the Volga River, um, where uh, Volga River. Got it. So. She is absolutely correct. The city of uh, Kazan is uh, the capital of the Republic of uh, Tatarstan, which is actually neighbor with the Republic of Bashkortostan. The Republic of Tatarstan is uh, an indigenous land of uh, Tatar people. Yeah, here lives uh, the, uh, the, the population here, mostly Russians and Tatars. One of the most uh, largest uh, um, educational, uh, religious, scientific, uh, scientific um, 
um, sports, uh, cultural um, centers of Russia. Correct. This is a this is a big city, almost 1.2 million citizens, and uh, it's officially considered by many people as the third capital of Russia. The first capital, of course, Moscow. The second northern capital uh, of uh, Russia is uh, St. Petersburg, and the third is Kazan. We're now getting to Kazan Kremlin. You know, you remember I told you that in Samara and in Ulyanovsk, the cities that we have visited uh, the other days, yesterday and before yesterday, the Kremlins burned out of the fires. But fortunately, Kazan is one of the cities like uh, Novgorod the Great, Pskov, Moscow, where Kremlin is still here. And look how great it is. Imagine how it would be nice if... Uh, the um, uh, if the Kremlins also would be saved in uh, in Samara in Ulyanovsk, that would be cool. The Kremlin on the embankment of uh, Kazanka River. Yes, it's correct that uh, Kazan is uh, one of uh, another city on the embankment of Volga River, but uh, this is the place where. Volga River meets with Kazanka River and exactly this Kremlin is located on the uh, embankments of uh, Kazanka River and uh, this is uh, really an old city which was founded as, uh, as the fortress on the embankments of the river when it was founded uh, it was founded more than uh, 1,000 uh, years ago, uh, in uh, 1,004 or 1,005. Yes, in 2005 the city celebrated the millennium, the millennium of Kazan. Can you imagine the city is uh, already more than 1,000 years, so 1,015. Whoa, big time, big time. Okay, now we go to the uh, uh, Spaske Tower. Spaske Tower, it's like uh, the main entrance to the Kremlin. I hope it works. And look, here we can see why they, uh, they were founding the cities and old cities on the embankments of uh, the rivers. You see, at first, you need to go across the river and then to climb on a uh, huge uh, walls and then to attack while you're trying to do that they are actually shooting you shooting you from from there you see there's such a narrow windows i believe it used to be uh, the positions for uh for the defenders for the soldiers to defend this city now it's uh spaska tower i hope I hope so much that uh, we can get inside there now. Maybe we can't because of frigging coronavirus. I mean, now most of the restrictions are lifted, but uh, the final stage now, we are in the final stage when uh, still, uh, still they never let you go for a mass events for some places. Kazan, the third capital. Many people consider this as the third capital of Russia after Moscow and St. Petersburg. Almost 1.2 million uh, residents live here. It's the capital of Tatars, Tatar people. So here uh, people mostly speaking Russian and Tatar.
Look at that horse carriage. Now reminds me about St. Petersburg. In St. Petersburg, suddenly you also, you know, can see the horse rides. You see, there's this sign. There's the sign. That's because Kazan Kremlin is the world heritage. It is admitted as a world heritage by UNESCO. Okay, let's get inside. Kazan Kremlin is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and uh, it was declared um, uh, a World uh, Heritage uh, Site in uh, 2000 years. Good. Thank you for information, Victoria. Here is some malls with the souvenirs, Kremlin souvenirs. Okay, seems like we can get in. The entrance to Kazan Kremlin is always free. Maybe you have to pay to get to some certain museums inside, but not to the territory of the Kremlin itself. The Kremlin is kind of big, you know. Here you can see the map. kind of big one especially was big back in those days centuries ago so somebody launched the drone but I know he I know here it is not safe because look they uh, they are they are spoofing the drones they are spoofing for uh, GPS signal here i need to say the guy he to be careful аккуратнее тут бывает меняют gps сигнал I hope we can get through here. Now you will see the mosque, which is called Kul Sharif. For a long time, it used to be uh, the biggest church in Russia, Kul Sharif. The thing is, Tatars, they are mostly Muslims, Sunni Muslims. 
Uh, so people in Kazan, uh, all those who are Tatars in Kazan and in the Republic of Tatarstan, they are Muslims, Sunni Muslims. That means not a radical Muslims, but still Muslims. Uh, here is a minarets, and uh, the height of minarets is uh, 58 meters. What happened? Так вы же прошли возле него. Кул Шариф. Fifty eight meters, fifty eight meters in the height. Mm -hmm. uh, the opening of uh, one of the biggest uh, mosques in uh, Europe, uh, the Khal Shalif uh, uh, Mosque, was held in uh, Kazan on June to, uh, 24, uh, 2005. Some more information from Victoria Kul Sharif opens in 2005. Some of the walls. Historical walls of Kremlin. Kazan Kremlin. But once uh, in Kazan here also live uh, lots of Russians on the territory of uh, Kremlin, you can also find a uh, huge Orthodox Christian church, the Annunciation Church, and we will see it yet. Many different towers in Kremlin, same as in Moscow. You know, the tower was there where we've entered one here. The one is also there with the star there. So it's kind of a big religious center for Muslim people in Russia. But also here is, uh, they are in friendship with an Orthodox Christianity. We now go to an Orthodox church.
the video quality is superb thanks well LTE works here pretty good because this is uh, the center of Kazan Kazan big city rich city it is considered by uh, many people and officially as uh, the third capital of uh, Russia the thing is here is a lot of oil this is an oil republic in the land of the Republic of Tatarstan a lot of oil and you know when USSR collapsed and the first president of Russia Boris Yeltsin said that now you guys can take as much of sovereignty as you can afford the Republic of Tatarstan was the only republic the only region of Russia which actually signed the sovereignty and you know because of this Kazan uh, leaving uh, a lot of taxes way more taxes inside of the Republic in the local budget than uh, the other regions and so they have way more financial possibilities and they are making many great things here uh, Kazan Kremlin includes uh, many old uh, buildings but this is uh, the oldest uh, in uh, Kazan Kremlin uh, this is uh, Annunciation Cathedral Correct. This is an Annunciation Cathedral, and uh, here we can see uh, typical, typical uh, Orthodox Church <coughs> with uh, those domes, which looks like an onions, and that's Suyumbike, so-called Suyumbike Tower. A little, yes, uh, it's not uh, the cheat on your vision. Uh, really, it's uh, a little bit. A little bit inclined to the uh, right side well it depends on where from you're looking at it And look, there is uh, there is uh, the palace where it's now located an administration of the presidents of the Republic of Tatarstan of Russia. You know, uh, some years ago, like several years ago, uh, all the presidents of the republics uh, in Russia was renamed to positions of the presidents renamed to the heads the heads of uh, the Republic of, let's say, Bashkortostan, but only in Tatarstan, they are insisted that here still will be the president, the president of the Republic of Tatarstan of Russia. You see, here is the, uh, the sign the president, not the heads, but the presidents of the Republic of Tatarstan of Russia. Mark Hewitt, awesome, thanks. Thank you to a big time. Annunciation Church. Uh, the an Orthodox Cathedral in uh, in its best traditions. Well, Kazanka, Kazanka River, not a Volga, but Kazanka. Uh, Kazan is located as on the embankments of Volga River, as on the embankments of Kazanka, Kazanka River. So the Republic of uh, Tatarstan having a lot of finances, financing the sports as well. Here is the hockey club Akbars. Akbars. It is uh, 
It is three times the winner of the playoffs of uh, the Gagarin Cup of Continental Hockey League, which is the highest league, hockey league in Russia, and uh, the second uh, uh, biggest league in, in the world after NHL. And, you know, they also have a football club, which is called Rubin. Rubin. They are twice the champions of Russia. So they actually have uh, top teams in the uh, highest leagues, football leagues and uh, hockey league. Bless you, bless you. Mama Bear, another great live stream. Good job, Vika. Good job. Thank you, thank you for super chat message. Thank you. See you. Big time. See you in BK Tower. Which is leaning a little bit to the side. Another awesome, awesome city. Russian city and Volga region. Big time. So there actually we can see a part of the stadium where football club Rubin is playing. Nice sunset. Well, the time difference between uh, Russia and most of my audience have one advantage. That, yeah, I have to live stream in the evening time, but uh, we actually always reach the sunset, which is in Russia usually, usually beautiful. Come on, so come on, let's go, let's lose control. See you in BK. Okay, uh, slowly, let's uh, go out of the Kremlin and go to the city. Well, finally, I came to Kazan and here is an awesome, an awesome weather. I remember how past years I was coming here and the weather was not that good. I mean, the rains and stuff like that. The flag of Russia and flag of the Republic of Tatarstan.
we are traveling big time. выход on the exit you can buy some tatar tatar souvenirs tatar stuff because you don't forget that even those uh, many many Russians lives here however this is the Republic of Tatars the capital of Tatars Ну, сейчас на Баумана. А, хорошо. Потому что я уже показал, в принципе. Кремлин. It's huge. It's huge. Kremlin means the fortress. Yeah, I want to go further away. Ah. I want to get even more distant from Kremlin because this way we can see a wider picture. A beautiful historical Kremlin. It's really awesome. Big time. Big time. So, what do you think, dudes? Do you find Kazan Kremlin as an awesome place? Big time. Why you what? Потом объясню. Kazan is in 600 kilometers from the city of Ufa, the Republic of Tatarstan and the Republic of Bashkortostan are neighbors. Ufa is the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. Kazan is the capital of the Republic of Tatarstan of Russia. Kazan is the capital of Tatars. Big time. Dudes, 240 people online, but again, only one 
133 likes. How is that? Dudes, how is that? Almost twice less likes than people watching. Big time. The city, and there's the stadium. The stadium. You can't see that well, but you can recognize by the uh, by the lightning, lighting, lighting posts. So you think this is a circus, man? This is the circus. This is arena. Football arena. Big time. Add some likes, dudes. Thanks for appreciation. Thank you, Frank. The uh, metro station works in Kazan. I mean, metro station. The metro. Only one line. As, I, as far as I remember, but, but it's enough for this city. Look, in the historical city center of uh, Kazan, uh, the public transportation buses are only the red ones so here is no and ugly so-called of uh, so-called route taxis marshrutne taxi only uh, such a nice full featured red buses big time Как любишь Казань? В смысле как? Сильно или так? How do you like Kazan? Тебе нравится Казань? Мне очень нравится Казань. I like Kazan very much. She's sad. Well, she is. Uh, she's. Uh, she's a half Tatar, so she definitely loves Kazan. Kremlin, the fortress. Hi. Friendly ladies. But we are going into this city now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to give uh, many panoramas 
the panoramas inside of Kremlin, now outside of Kremlin, and also the uh, location, the panorama of what is next to Kremlin. So you to get more, uh, high, more of ideas about what Russia is from different angles. It goes real time and big time. And uh, for the last uh, four days, I show Russia from uh, many different places in the real time. So you can see how it is in real. Big time. Yeah, people are just relaxing. Big time. In uh, Kazan is a Moscow time. I think this time zone is a little bit far-fetched. I think for Kazan it's better to have uh, Moscow plus one or even plus two. Like plus one in Samara or plus two uh, from Moscow time in Ufa. Because look, you can say that definitely it is uh, far-fetched because now it's uh, almost the longest day in Russia now, in the world, the longest day in the world, right? Uh, but today here is the sunset by Kazan time comes at 8.32 p.m. By the way, here is the entrance to metro station, <coughs> one of metro stations. The dragon. The dragon big time. Okay, now you've got all idea about Kazan Kremlin and uh, we came to where we started. We've got inside, we've got through, we've got through the inside part of Kremlin, then got out from another side and came to the same place. Douchebag, freaking douchebag. I hate douchebags. Even those, I'm a douchebag myself. Now let's go to Bauman, Bauman Street, pedestrian street in Kazan. That's uh, the next place where you can go in Kazan if you wanna. If you wanna, big time. street musician not as impressive as in St. Petersburg because in St. Petersburg um, the people are spoiled that the whole bands perform in the streets they are bringing diesel or petroleum generators that generate the energy and they connect all their music instruments there and playing and singing live but here the guy is just 
playing only just alone, solo. It's not that impressive. Douchebag, that's you, Sergey. Thank you, Ronald. Uh, thank you, Cheapskate, Ronald. Thank you, Ronald, for super chat. So much. Uh, Victoria loves super chats because I told her that I will give give away 10% of super chats to her. All the rest will go uh, to the development of the channel and also 30% rips off YouTube. Like a fee, you know? Yeah, she's saving up for a new phone. This is my microphone. She wanna get iPhone X XR. Are you going to Volgograd? I don't know. I don't know. It depends. Because, uh, as I told you before, I started this uh, road trip and, uh, well, for now we are, we are traveling and uh, as soon as you will fit up with this, we will stop it. But for now it goes, like, not bad at all. Yes, this is a road trip, the fourth day of the road trip. It is started with Samara, two days in Samara. One day in Ulyanovsk and now Kazan. Also, in the lunchtime today, we've made a quick jump to uh, unique town island of uh, Sviersk. Look, these donkeys here in uh, Kazan as well, same as in St. Petersburg. I'm so fed up with them in St. Petersburg. They are just uh, imposing too much. They get to you they want to photograph with you and to get money but the thing is that uh, just not everybody wants to photograph with them here is a mostly uh, neoclassical architecture mostly like uh, 19th beginning of 20th century on the streets this is the historical city center thanks i don't need to buy air travel road moors thanks so much another street musician but also the one who in saint petersburg would be considered as uh, like so-so mm, because because, yeah, in St. Petersburg, people are spoiled with the whole bands. Well, mostly I love the streets, but the only thing I don't love here is uh, these absolutely ugly and not understandable constructions. Well, this is uh, the metro station. This is a ventilation for metro stations, for sure. But why so ugly? Uh, by the way, let me tell you that here in the Republic of Tatarstan, and in Kazan, uh, they are already allow uh, the restaurants to work, but only, I mean, people people to sit in the restaurants, but only on a summer terraces like this. You can't sit inside, but you can sit in a, such a terraces, such a summer terraces, which are staying in the street. the historical parts of this city if you want to if you want to know more about uh, the history of this cities just come to the historical city center what a douchebag look 
that guy is staying here and that one keep driving. Давай, кофе. Oh yeah, coffee time. Big time. Vienna coffee shop. Венская кофейня. Нет, мы, мы гуляем. Come on, чуть позже посидим. Чего? Мне просто лата, ты же знаешь, лата. Они длары. Uh, just a little stop for latte. Victoria getting a little exhausted. Yeah, because we've got a huge tempo. Samara, Ulyanovsk, Sviyarsk, now Kazan. It's good to be bad, right? Right? Yeah, yes. Are you in your frigging phone again? Yes. Are you TikToking or Brawl Stars? Иди, попасть. Сейчас даешь. Just get me a frigging latte. Yes, I need a coffee quick. Yes, Marat Safin, a uh, tennis player, is a Tatar. Нет, хорош. Ну иди купи. Uh, come to Russia, come to Kazan, come to Samara, come to Ulyanovsk, come to Moscow, come to St. Petersburg. I'm here and behind me is Russia. Russia is behind me. Big time! Big time! They never got used that I shout. <laughs> that I shout big time. Looking at me kind of strange. Big time! Well, I'm waiting for... Well, I'm waiting for when they will buy uh, coffee. Meanwhile, I will throw my uh, chewing gum. Uh, 
Richard Bellingham, get the coffee, Sergey. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Uh, once again, thanks for all of your super chats, which helps to keep uh, this uh, road trip going. I will keep it going until it's interesting for you. Что там делают? Да, там пять минут осталось. О, супер чат. Thank you so much uh, for super chats, so for super chat messages. All who sent a super chat message, thank you. Uh, this is how you can immediately see that she's my daughter. Вот так что ли Okay, I need to unplug this microphone. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Ralph Reed, thank you. I just, I just need to connect uh, the uh, the battery. Okay. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Big time. <laughs> okay, you can see me pretty well. Pretty well. Ah, uh, there are Shostakovich t-shirts. I'm sure you can find some Shostakovich t-shirts for sure. Uh, for now, there's no plan for Omicron. Wow, opera singer here. That's awesome. Billy Kremel. White Kremlin. This is a brand of uh, a local beer. And today in the evening I'm gonna try one. Local beer. It's awesome, big time. Kill the zebra. Why not? But I just don't want to get to the prison, you know? I don't want to get jailed. Just because of frigging zebra, you know? Yes. Four years ago, I've been here with at Cronkite but it was like four years ago now Cronkite has already purchased the apartment in Moscow on the uh, countryside of Moscow Yes, now it's probably because of lockdown, he can't perform on a scene. Because now all the restrictions are almost lifted, except the mass events, the concerts, uh, in the theaters, in the concert halls, um, symphony concerts.
uh, Matthias Adspegren. Thank you so much. Yakshiken, добрый день. Сколько вам лет? Надеюсь, Латте будет окей. Well, the question was how old I am. Am I? I am 36. And yes, I hope uh, coffee is going to be good. Because I know that coffee shop, at least in St. Petersburg, it's not that bad at all. Kevin C, coffee on me. I'm impressed that the streets are so clean in this city. That's good that you can see that uh, the streets are clean in all the cities because uh, there's some people who thought probably the streets in Russia are clean only in Moscow and St. Petersburg. But you know, like a week ago, I filmed in uh, the uh, like uh, in the outskirts of Ufa in my uh, neighborhoods, my motherland neighborhoods, and there was clean as well. Even there, it was clean. So not to mention about such a cities like Samara, Ufa, Kazan, and stuff like that. Wow, let's look at this car, the Soviet car, Vaz Lada Zhiguli. By the way, they are making them, uh, they used to make them in only 40 kilometers uh, from, from Samara in the town of Taliyati. They are still making them there, but already not this models. This model is already uh, outdated and uh, out, of, out of production. This is uh, actually the copy of Italian Fiat, the Italians, Italians uh, gave this project to the Soviet Union. Back then, in the 1970s, Italians and, uh, and uh, the Soviets really collaborated big time. And uh, it seems that uh, still, still, the relationship uh, between Russia and Italy is uh, much better than with uh, most of other uh, European countries, which is good. Yes, it's a Fiat, but it's also like 2101. And I, lo I love how it's uh, refurbished here. Big time. Whoa. Also good inside. Are you going to Nizhny Novgorod? Most probably I will go to Nizhny Novgorod. Look what a nice ass. Nice ass she has. Жигули. Yes, I had 2106 before. Oh, Victoria, Victoria, Vika, hey, Vika, my coffee. Oh, позови маму, позови маму. Альбиночка. My coffee delivery. Latte. Whoa, big time. And uh, what is this? Bize? No. Good. Don't touch my food. Don't touch my food. Don't touch my food. <laughs> Ah, uh, chin chin. Uh, прекрасно. John W, freaking lad, a big time super chat. Thank you. Thank you, big time.
wonderful Albina and Vika. Some other national food. National Tatar food, sweets. Chuck Chuck. Such a honey sticks. Sama Smatri. Я тебе закину. Бизе. Tasty. Что это? Покажи мне, покажи, что там. That's uh, national Tatar sweets. These are the six. Они из чего делают их? There's a dough. Honey. Honey. Uh, Condensed milk, so dal, condensed milk and honey. Whoa, and also with some some nuts. Mm -hmm. Sugar bread. I don't care about coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Well, pretty sweet, big time. Ты так делаешь, как будто ты водку сейчас хочешь. I'm sorry, but we are motherfuckers. We are motherfuckers. So leave us alone. We are motherfuckers. No, no, dude. We are motherfuckers. Big time. Because I, because I hate them, they impose too much. The thing is, the thing is, I, uh, I've got, uh, I've got fed up with them uh, in Saint Petersburg. I see them all the time. They consider all people walking Nevsky as a tourist, and they all the time getting to me. Ronald will not let, uh, will will confirm it. Because uh, that's what, hap what happens with Ronald many times. And uh, when we also, together with Ronald, was walking as well. And uh, he also have to remember how I used to shout on them. Phil Rabbit, Volga Bulgar, ancient city, 7th to 13th century, said, said to be near Kazan. Are its ruins identified? It'd be a great place to stop if ruins. You know, Phil Rabbit, I was making video about the Great Bulgar. Just check it out. Great Bulgar, real Russian. You will find the carriage, the monument to the carriage. 
Yes, you can be rude to zebra man. The thing is, uh, in St. Petersburg, they get to you all the time. By the way, this is a no guy, no guy hotel right on Bowman Street. A nice place to stop. We never stopped here, but we, we stayed in another place. But it's just a nice place to stay. Okay, finally, the full-featured band like in St. Petersburg, not just a single player. Well, Victoria less spoiled. Uh, Victoria less spoiled than me, and she said that I had to tell to those zebras and donkeys that we are just a local, and that's why we don't need your service. Uh, that's because she is uh, she is not that cynical yet. So I just prefer to say that we are motherfuckers. Cynical. 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 Yeah, you definitely need to ch to, 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 to try uh, Tatar sweets in the uh, in Kazan. Tatar sweets. It is made of dough, condensed milk, and honey. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? It is called Samagun, anti-alcoholic museum with with tasting. Samagon. It's like self-made alcohol.
the guys offered to photograph with the doves. Look at these frogs. Ну что теперь? Vika feeling shy when mama singing. <laughs> and she said, when I'm singing too. I'm home, what's my job? And I'm sure I ill. Grand the boys. Hey Sergey, I have been watching bits and pieces on the live streams. Love the vlogging videos. Always going to support you. Jonathan Randopolis. Thank you so much. Thank you big time. Dudes, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget likes. Uh, some of the uh, locations in these buildings on the upper floors, some are residential, just the apartments, and then some are the offices. Why nobody wear mask? Because uh, most people understand this is a kind of bullshit from the point of view, like uh, like it doesn't help too much. Morning Woods, good evening. Good evening, Morning Woods. This is this is the restaurants, yes. Nordic walkaway. The restaurants, the house of uh, Tatar Kalinari. Nice restaurant. Another street musician, 
just a solo musician. Well, here in different from in different from Saint Petersburg, mostly solo musicians, and only one uh, like a real band. Nice street art. Hello to Brazil. Not only street musicians, but street artists here as well. So this is a Kazan Arbat, like an Arbat in Moscow. Here is its Bauman Street, Bauman. <laughs> yeah, coronavirus is not a joke but it's not, uh, however, not as, uh, as strong as uh, to make the uh, complete lockdown. David Davidovich, love these sights and sounds. Thank you, Sergey and Vika. You're welcome. Also, thanks to Albina, my wife. No. David Davidovich, thank you. Here is some kind of magic man. Now with this music, uh, YouTube going to give me a copyright strike again. Yesterday when I filmed the square in Ulyanovsk and there was a singing fountain uh, under the music of Celine Dion, OST to Titanic, uh, YouTube actually demonetized that video <laughs> because it's like you used Celine Dion song Matt C have a safe fun day thank you uh, thank you very much big time thank you very much so uh, for super chat message uh, look uh, McDonald's McDonald's in McDonald's you also uh, can't get inside yet but you already can uh, take a seat in a um, street to race McDonald's <laughs> Well, she loves McDonald's. Uh, 
сейчас покажу за руку, я точно, да? Смотрите, вот тоже запросы на ногу. Смотрите, теперь я играю ее в середину колоды. Seems like the guys here are also getting ready to perform and other street musicians. The capital of Tatars, Kazan. This city with an age of 1015 years founded in uh, 1005th year Kazan with uh, many people by many people considered unofficially considered as the third capital of Russia the first Moscow the second St. Petersburg and the third Kazan Actually, Tatars are the second biggest population in Russia. Another Orthodox Church, uh, mostly, mostly the Republic of uh, Tatarstan and Kazan is uh, half Orthodox, half Muslim. Sunni, Sunni, Sunni Muslims here. Kazan, this, the Republic of Tatarstan, as I told you before, is full of oil. So this Republic is one of the richest in Russia. And also when in the beginning of 1990s, after a fall of USSR, uh, the first president of Russia, Boris Yeltsin, said to all the regions of Russia, take as much of sovereignty as you can afford. So only the Republic of Tatarstan said that yes we want this sovereignty but of course uh, staying keep staying inside of russia but like a sovereign uh, republic and uh, they signed that paper about sovereignty of uh, tatarstan and uh, for this reason you know uh, the uh, tatarstan the republic of tatarstan has a chance to leave way more money uh, and pay less, way less taxes to the federal budget than other regions of Russia. And uh, they are making, for this reason, making a lot of great things here. So that's why Kazan 
develops big time. Let's say here was the University 8. Uh, here also was the games. Here also was the games of uh, World Cup 2018, of course. Big time. And I, I told you that uh, the football club, professional football club of Russian Premier League from Kazan, uh, Rubin, it is uh, twice the uh, champion of Russia in a Russian football Premier League. And uh, hockey club Agbars, Agbars from Kazan, three times the winner of uh, Gagarin Cup uh, for continue in the uh, Continental Hockey League. This is uh, the highest league of uh, hockey, it's like NHL, but in Russia, KHL, Continental Hockey League. So yeah, they are supporting many spheres big time. And let's say, look at what they did in, uh, in Sviyarsk. Uh, Tatarstan and Kazan develops big time. Uh, Rituraj Konvar, thank you very much for joining the uh, membership. Big time, thank you, big time. The Republic of Tatarstan, if you will come to Kazan, you definitely will enjoy your time. Another great city on uh, Volga River. Actually, it turns to be that for the last uh, four days I'm going up, up uh, by Volga River. At first I've been to Samara, which is on the embankment of Volga River, then Ulyanovsk on Volga River. Now this is Kazan. No, there is no many Tatar players, uh, but, but it is controlled by Tatars. The management is a uh, Tatar. <laughs> the youth playing, enjoying their time. It's Saturday night, actually. This is Saturday night. Do you know this is a Saturday night? Ты знаешь, что это субботний вечер? Эрик Эллиот. Hey, Sergey, really love these videos. Hi, Vika, you're just as much a star as your dad. Sergey, will you give her my full amount in this case, please? Okay, okay, Eric. Your words is, uh, is a law. Mad Dog Charm. Thank you, thank you big time. Thanks for taking us to Kazan. I wanted to return this year, but because of coronavirus, freaking coronavirus, it doesn't look promising. Please be careful. I heard the virus is uh, bad still, even those numbers are low. Have an awesome evening. Thank you uh, for a super chat. Thank you all for super chat so much. Big time. Big time. I should, I should make it full of German. Uh, uh, he said that I have to give all the amounts of his super chat, all five bucks to you. Ah, все пять баксов не Oh, thank you! Yes! Big time. Michael Zuino, keep the great videos coming. Thank you so much. Thanks that you're supporting this uh, road trip. I will keep it going until it's uh, interesting to you and until you give the fuel for all of this, uh, for all of this uh, trips. I really, uh, I really love this road trip because of, uh, um, of, uh, learning uh, geog uh, geography on real life, uh, not in books, uh, not reading books, like in school. Uh, I like uh, to spend my uh, time with uh, family. 
And uh, this road trip, uh, like, not only me, this road trip, like, my mother, my father, and you. Yes, of course, big, you. Big time. Big time. And uh, you are learn a joke of uh, Russia with us. Yes? Correct. Uh, let me throw this. That's why I like this uh, road trip. Look, stop, stop. Okay, we can go. All the cities is uh, beautiful. Uh, are, all the cities are beautiful. Как будет по своему? In its own way. Uh, all cities are beautiful in its own way. Um, yes. Yes, they are the same but different in the same time. Look, uh, if talk about public transportation buses in the historical city center here, only such uh, full features, red, beautiful buses. Lloyd Christmas. Lloyd Christmas. Kazan. Big time. Yes, 8.44 p.m. local time. Here is the same time zone as in Moscow. But I think that it is uh, definitely far-fetched because uh, really the Kazan time had to be like at least plus one or plus two. Like it's plus one for Samara and plus two for Ufa. Because look, it's not that really normal that at this time the sunset comes at, at 8.32 p.m. That's too early. Давай у тебя будет типа big time, а у меня huge time. Huge time. Прикольно, да? Да, папа? Да. А у тебя big time, у меня huge time. Ты скажи. Remember Don Mac, Ronald? Yes, I remember. Remember big time. Huge time. She now wants saying a uh, huge time to be a little different than me. Like same but different. Uh, and now some Stalinist architecture here. How we are without Stalinist architecture? Stalinist architecture, big time. Kazan, Kazan Hansdom. Let's go. 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 Let's Douchebag. And it smells with the tires. Maybe he's drunk. The restaurant Georgian stories. The summer to race, it works. Yes, we love Georgian food because it's mostly like a meat food, grilled meat.
Don't touch my food. Yes, here you can meet a lot of cyclists uh, who who ride the bicycle with uh, this uh, speaker. With the speakers, you know, portable speakers and listening to the music. Sergey loves uh, Georgian food, especially when I buy. Yes, big time, big time. Yes, once we've, we've been, uh, we went to Georgian restaurant, which is called Chacha Puri at Marat Street in St. Petersburg. It is right in front of the uh, residential building where Dmitry Shostakovich used to live. In his early years, Dmitry Shostakovich, you all have to keep it pretty clear that Dmitry Shostakovich is a greatness and power, unbelievable depth of uh, composers' minds. Can you hear me? Yeah, boy. Say yeah, boy. Come on. Let's go. Look, this is Kazan Federal University. Kazan Volga Federal University. One of the most high rating universities in Russia. Wow, this this traffic light is short. Let's look at this. This is a lake which is called Nizhny Kaban, Lower Kaban. Where from? Where all this music from? Ah, ah, these are the speakers. Okay, these are the speakers. Got it. And the music sounds from here. Whoa, big time. It's an awesome. It's an awesome lake, right in the center of the city. Oh, Papa. Ah. Remember that uh, when uh, we uh, swim on the catamaranas in uh, Ufa, and uh, I was uh, five year old, years old. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Well, she recalled the moment when she was five years old and in the city of Ufa, when we lived in the city of Ufa, there also the park with a small lake, way smaller than Winway, but, uh, than this one, but still a lake. And uh, we were riding uh, the catamaran and uh, she got me right under the fountain and I was all wet. And that was... And that was not funny at all. It was funny. 
so this is a lower Nizhny Kaban, lower Kaban, Nizhny Kaban Lake. And there's the academic theater on this square. Big time. And this is, let me tell you once again, Kazan, Volga, Volga region, federal university. Big time. Here is a kind of embankment. People walking, enjoying their time. I love it. I love it. The weather is great, plus 25. Exactly how I love it. I don't like it. Like, a, I don't like the heat. I like like this one, plus 25, it's great. Do you like it big time? Do you like it big time? Do you like it? Uh Wrote in uh, co uh, comments, uh, do you like it big time or huge time? Huge Sarah, time. thank you very much too. You're welcome, Sara. Thank you very much for super chat. Great uh, morning. Morning, yes. Yeah, maybe a great morning for Sara, most probably. My gold, my gold. Baklikov family. Oi, oi, oi. Big time. Huge time. The sun said it's keep going. Your skull, Kazan. Behind me. Oh, behind me. Uh, Mickey Macbeth. Seems like Saturday is a good day to do live stream. Yes, big time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Huge time. Huge time. She said that I don't want to say big time. I want to be a little bit different than you and to say huge time. Yes. Avara 59. Thank you for the huge time tour, Baklikov family. Welcome. Big time. Thank you. Huge time. Huge time, yes, huge time. <laughs> Let's go to the uh, Millennium, Millennium to Kazan Park, which is there. Albina told me. Two. Millennium to Kazan. Red rum, red rum, is the red rum, red rum, but you probably will not get it, too young to get it, what I'm saying, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, what does it mean, red rum, well, she's, you are too young to know what is red rum, well, my viewers knows what is red rum. Red rum. 
Red Rom. It's a scary movie by by Stephen Stephen King. Shining. Я не знаю. Стивен Кинг, да? But it's shining. Он написал, а... Way early, way early. A novel and movie. Okay, who is on the first base? Who's on the first base? Who's on the first base? Who's on the first base? You don't get it too. Okay, who's on the first base? Of course you don't understand. Кто на первой базе? Кто? Who's on the first base? Don't, don't stay so close to the frigging roads because there's a lot of douches, douchebags. Who's on second base? Red Rom. Это что-то Тат Энерго. Смотри, пап, как No, Chichens are Chichens. They are not Tatars. Да, есть такая страна. Чехия, да? Нет, Чечня — это республика. А, вот же вход. The entrance is here. Uh, the park. Millennium to Kazan Park. Or Millennium of Kazan Park. Let me remind you who just joined Kazan is already 1015 years old. In 2005 it is celebrated the millennium. I want to play to America because uh, um, in America live all of my favorite TikTokers, all the best TikTokers. And uh, of course uh, Um, to learn geography uh, of, um, of America in real life. All Russia, I learned Chichens. A little bit. A little bit. And uh, in America, I want to learn. In Los Angeles, uh, there is two TikTokers. Uh, Houses. Seems like the fountains are already turned off. Here definitely must be 
the functions. And in this cafe, they are celebrating the wedding, I'm sure. The wedding. The weddings usually they are making uh, on Fridays and Saturdays. Well, the official ceremony goes uh, in the morning, but then everybody comes just to drink in the restaurants. They are drinking, eating, uh, different competitions. Ah, what about them? Bride and groom, or what? Or <laughs> We've got a glimpse. I'm not sure why LTE was getting lost there. Maybe because uh, there's a lot of radio uh, microphones works, uh, wireless microphones. On th usually they are working on the uh, um, high frequencies. So maybe it's interfering. You know, they have uh, the host there who is speaking wireless microphone. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Well, the wind. Well, Albino said that one day we need to go to somebody's wedding and to film it live. Когда кто-нибудь будет жениться? Когда кто-нибудь будет? Свадьбу отмечать. А, Look, the buses are red, but trolley buses are green. Stalinist architecture, big time. Yes, <laughs> 
хай. Ну что, прикольно же, да? А, или можно small time? Не, huge time лучше. Подожди, дай пап. Big time. Дай, дай, дай. Блин, Джастис, thank you for your work and for sharing it with the world. Freedom for all! Freedom for all! Тихо, тихо. Надень кепку. Говори, huge time. Huge time. Big time. Ты да где? Big time, huge time. Нет, не делай. Bob Nagy, hello, thank you. Now we're going to go to the other side. Big time! Big time! Big time! We are waiting for traffic lights. I can speak with delay. I can speak with delay. Hi. 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 Что? У меня будет фишка теперь, когда я говорю huge time, я буду вот так делать. Huge time. Как там трансформер. Придумал. Скажи вот переведи то, что. У меня теперь такая фишка. Now I have such a feature. When she will speak, when she will, when she will tell huge time. I will. She will. She will speak. She will. She will speak it like transformer. It's uh, one of the canals in a Kazan. It's not like in Saint Petersburg, full of canals. It's probably the only canal inside of this city in Kazan. Да, давай. Давай туда перейдем. Прекрасно. 
стоим. Стоим. Стоим, отойди. Тут непонятно. Просто топора нет, я думаю. Севич. Не знаю, что. Так-то да, вообще должны останавливаться. Exploring, keep exploring Kazan. What a hell! What a motherfucker! Oh my god! What he's doing? He must be so drunk. Look, he's a drunk or what? <laughs> ah, got it, got it. This is metal. That's what makes you scary. Here is a, such a metallic plus. <laughs> and uh, it makes... Whoa! It sounds scary. It sounds freaking scary. It's scary big time. Давайте отойдемте. Не надо. Не надо. Уже такие были приколы. Terence, Terence Brennan, thank you very much. Kazan, beautiful at night too. Постой, Вика, постой. Ждем. Куда ты? Хотя, в принципе, нам надо туда. Ну да. Давайте туда.
it's still the sunset. It's interesting, but still the sunset. Подождите, давай посмотрим. Это какая вообще улица? Да я вообще не твой телефон. Мой? Да. Посмотри вообще где мой. Tom Bowman, thanks for the great tour. I hope you post this whole video soon, Tom. Yes, we'll post the whole video. Thank you. Huge time for a super chat. Huge time. Let's keep going. You don't have to be scared because uh, the uh, city centers, especially the city centers of uh, big Russian cities, are absolutely safe. <laughs> especially on Saturdays when everybody partying. You see the police? They patrol all the time. In the big cities, you can always know that uh, the police is somewhere around. You usually don't see this, but you may know that they are around. This is a Shell gas station, or to say petroleum station. Many people around. Посмотрим. Сюда. Адрес можно Ну я вижу уже. Ну, скажи, какой адрес? Чернышевского 30.
right on the time. Burger King. Here it seems like the market. But it's closed now. Closed at this time. Okay, waiting, waiting. Okay. There's the market. What a douchebag. Такие тут что-то все резкие какие-то. Как понос. It's a car washing, car wash. I believe the guy have no clue what I want. <laughs> Imagine the guy have no idea about who I am, uh, what I'm doing. You know, he just seeing the guy with the camera filming him. Why? Why? What it is all about? Another Orthodox church. I really love it how Kazan lives together. Two religions, two religions, and Orthodox Christianity and Sunni Islam. Yeah, Russians and Tatars live here. Russians are an Orthodox Christians, and Tatars are mostly Muslims. Nothing happen not, nothing special happens. We're just walking in the historical city center real time. Тем не менее, я бы не рискнул здесь у переходить. Нас получается на троих, да, тот номер. Здесь какие-то все дикие. Сережа. Да. Угу. И при том, что это выходной, да? Суббота. 
Да. Надо девчонку искать, вот так на выходные съездить сюда на свои дни. Пошли. В принципе, номер. Как вы все едете? За 24 часа, что ли, сюда? Мы сядем в автобус и едем. В автобусе ты еще в дружной компании. Yeah, you guys don't forget about thumbs ups and likes. Big time. Huge time. CH. Hey, Sergey, beautiful city, man. Yes, I like Kazan. And this is actually like uh, my best visit to Kazan, I think. Какой раз Казани? Ну уже, наверное, четвертый. Наверное, примерно. Второй, третий. Ну я второй, ты второй, значит. Нет, по еще... А, ты это третий. А второй. О, как раз вам Да, наверное, уже зайдем. Нет, зачем? Потерять что? Uh, this is our hotel. Such a mini hotel. 
with the uh, parking on the backyards, which is good. And uh, it's only it's only like twenty seven bucks. Twenty seven bucks. We will now get there inside, so you can see. Uh, in Ulyanovsk, we had so the hotel room for forty bucks. Here is twenty seven bucks. But in Ulyanovsk, it was uh, like one of the most significant hotels, the historical Soviet hotel in the very center of the city, right next to Lenin Square, uh, almost on the embankments of Volga River. You can check it out. A mini hotel. It seems like our room is here on the third floor, this window or that window. I don't know. Small store, 24-7. It works 24-7. She said I need I need a friggin' mask. Ну что? А есть неохлажденная вода? Ты будешь воду? О, нет. А, да, да, буду. Может, Red Bull еще? Ну, возьми и сюда подходи, Погнали. I would get a beer, but it's already uh, over 22 p.m. By Russian law, by Russian law, uh, they don't sell. Ah, ничуся. Может, maybe beer? No, 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 надо. Зачем завтра в дорогу? Kim Harding, Kim Harding, good job. Thank you.
Thank you, big time. Huge time. Thank you, huge time. So this is our hotel, Manu Tewari. What a great way to learn about Russia. Love it. Thank you, Manu. Keep following for uh, keep following for our road trip. Давайте быстренько перейдем. А нет, давайте постоим. Не надо, не надо, не надо. Можешь ты. Давайте быстрее. Бахет. Бахет отель. Uh, there's on the backyards uh, the uh, parking under security, and here is the hotel. It's called Bahat. Three stars, but it's okay. Twenty seven bucks. This is sweet. This is sweet. Okay. Well, it's a kind of economy hotel room. So no wonder here is no bid there. That's 24 7 store, grocery store, where we just have been, where I've got adrenaline rush. So, 27 bucks. Twenty-seven bucks. Well, of course they charge in rubles, but I'm telling in bucks for everybody to understand.
О! So here I am. This is me. Uh, got back from a long, long walk. Uh, we woke up today in the morning in Ulyanovsk in that Soviet uh, hotel and we drove to Kazan. On the way to Kazan, uh, on the way to Kazan, we stopped, yes, we stopped in uh, Sviyarsk, uh, town island of Sviyarsk, and I also filmed it. Uh, there was uh, not always a good connection, and sometimes the picture was pretty blurry, but uh, you can watch it. You can watch it and check it out. Uh, that's a live stream which already became available as a video. Uh, this live stream also will be uh, available as the video. Uh, it's good to see that you enjoyed another, another live stream from the road trip we are making this year, I and my family. Uh, Tomorrow we will go uh, for further. It's going to be or the town of Chubaksari, Chubaksari, or Nizhny Novgorod. I'm not sure yet. But uh, I I said to my family that if uh, we wanna. If we want to make a huge trip tomorrow, it's going to be Novgorod. If uh, we want to make it on a relax, then at first we have to go to Chubaksari, and then from Chubaksari to uh, uh, no Nizhny Novgorod. <laughs> yes, we're still thinking about it, but tomorrow it will be or Chubaksari, another small town also on Volga River, or Nizhny Novgorod. We will see, we will see, but if we will go to Nizhny Novgorod, we actually will have to wake up pretty early, you know? And I already need to shave, you know? Hmm. I need to shave big time. Give likes to this video. Give like. Vika is already in the bed in her frigging phone you arrive to Krasnodar well I'm not sure I'm not sure if I can arrive to Krasnodar at this time uh, because it's uh, for now it's far from here it's far from here but let's see let's see Let's see, because uh, as I told you, this road trip will lasting as long as uh, it's going to be interesting for you. Uh, maybe sooner or later, but, uh, you know, the interest to these kind of videos, this road trip will fade out. But if it will not fade out, we will keep we will keep driving. But for now, good to see that uh, you enjoy this. Are you gonna stream the ride to the next destination? Well, uh, maybe a part of it, because I know that actually a good LTE connection on the uh, uh, on the roads, on the roads, uh, on the interstates, they are okay only like the first maybe 50, 60 kilometers from uh, the big city. But then the uh, connection getting lost all the time. Give likes. Give likes. Cheers, Tyler. Uh, Jay Gibson. We love you, Sergey from Texas. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You, you look a little tired. Yes, I'm tired. So that's why Albina already got me uh, an energetic. Uh, Irene. 
from Yekaterinburg with love. Thank you. Valeria Martinez. Thank you, big time. Kudia Greers, capital of Tatars. It's just the capital of the Republic of Tatarstan, of the Republic of Tatarstan. No, it's not Guinness. It's Adrenaline. Tomorrow in the morning I arrive, so I better not, not drink now. Baklikov family, Mama Bear, thank you. Root Wolf, certainly gold. Ronald, drink bad for you. Yeah, but can do nothing with this. Thank you, big time. You made me feel better. That's good to hear. Carlos Santos, hello from Bronx, New York City, United States, with love. Hello, my Russian family. Hello, Carlos. DWDE. Uh, 115 uh, awesome awesome yeah thank you big time from Iowa is that a monster drink it's a uh, adrenaline rush thank you Baklikov family for sharing live stream thank you big time welcome good night nice video thank you Gavin Miner hello from Charlotte Charlotte North Carolina I've been there once uh, my friends live there. Love this family and channel, Mama Bear. Widar Johannesson. Best greetings to Norway from Russia. Greetings from Netherlands. Greetings to Netherlands. Well, yeah. I'm 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 drinking another drink. Avis, the only rental in Ufa that allow you to take a car and uh, to, to, to drop it in uh, in other city. It's not like in the United States, let's say when I've been to United States, I was using Enterprise and was taking a car in uh, like everywhere. It's uh, It's not like this in Russia yet. Hmm? Don't forget likes. Mm. These two love your channel, lovely family from Alaska. Alaska, big time. Alaska, uh, former Russian territory. So you're actually like Russian. And even the bears are walking there in the streets of Alaska. Yes, yes, I have uh, 20 videos series about our trip to the United States, where also was my family. Yes, Avis, it's uh, the branch of an American uh, car rental, and uh, they allow to take the car, uh, to drop the car in other cities. Uh, I maybe will get back to Ufa on the car, on that car. But maybe we'll drop somewhere else in case if uh, an interest to this series will get lost. Jen L. Can't wait to visit. So clean. My replies are from Russia. Jen from Asheville, North Carolina. Hello to North Carolina. 
Sergey a 75,000 ruble uh, ruble a month flat in Russia is that unheard of? Yes, this is very very expensive. Usually 75,000 uh, it's it's let's say in Moscow and it's like maybe three room apartments, big apartment in Moscow. But uh, it's not an it's uh, way higher than an average price in average city. In case if you forgot how I look like without the freaking glasses. Don't forget to fill up your gas tank at the Shell station tomorrow. Well, I usually use Lukoil, a Russian company. Yes, Lukoil. But actually, but actually, it doesn't matter too much. Where is your mask? That's in my pocket. I wear it because, let's say, in that 24-7 grocery store, she said, put your mask on or she will not serve me. Sergey, thank you for uh, the many streams lately. I have been stressed lately due to the COVID and your videos have been making my day great again and again. That's good to hear. Uh, I'm glad to stream every day especially at this summer time when I can be like all the time with my family. Um, my daughter starts uh, school in a September, September 1st. And it goes until the end of May. All this time from September to the end of May, she's busy big time. And uh, only in June, July and August, I actually can make something, something big with my family. Uh, only June, July, August. So now I'm trying to to make uh, and uh, like something something great with my family, but at the same time something great for for you dudes. That was a nice adrenaline. Ronalds uh, wears his mask year around. <laughs> but actually here you have to wear your mask sometimes because they just don't want to to do this this service for you like uh, like they don't want to sell the stuff you know like the the seller in the store just don't want to to serve you. She will not sell anything to you just because you're not in mask. Yes, one day we will watch this video and uh, we will say it was a great time, great time. Because yes, it's uh, like only day four, but we already saw so much in Samara, uh, in um, Ulyanovsk, Sviarsk, and now here. What nice Kremlin, nice pedestrian streets. You do a great <laughs> job. Bless you. Bless you. So she got a shower and now just 
laying in the bed. And here is going to be uh, me and my wife. What is bless you? Будь здорово. Like be healthy. Be healthy. This is literal translation from Russian version. Are you still working for the TV channel? No, I actually started uh, making my channel, YouTube channel, as soon as I left TV channel. Uh, I, I, ne I, I never worked any day uh, YouTube and TV together, never. Well, I've been invited to the TV for interviews but never I worked on TV since I started making my YouTube channel in 2012. <coughs> Come to Armenia, bro. Uh, maybe one of next years, because this year, as I told you, I was telling you this from... from the beginning of the year, that this year, 2020, will be full focus on, uh, on Russia, Russia only. Okay, three more minutes and I will go uh, let's keep this live stream three hours exactly and I, I will go I need to get a rest to take a rest because tomorrow we will keep driving I have to be completely relaxed I mean refreshed and concentrated. Don't go, Sergey. Honestly, I have to go. Because look, I woke up very early in the morning in Ulyanovsk, and uh, then I drove to Kazan with a stop in Sviarsk. Ted, Alexander Goods, you enjoyed it. BBN, yes, I think that Armenia is definitely nice, but uh, now this is a Russian trip 2020. Yeah, no Guinness. Good night and safe travels. Roger, be safe. Scarlett, thank you. Uh, Diana, I just love Sergey and his family. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, if, if somebody have questions to me, just email me my email in about section of uh, uh, my channel. Carlos, that's, that, that's funny. That's funny, yeah. Love the tour. Vika is doing a great job. Thank you, Mama Bear. Maurizio, good night. CH, CH, I uh, look forward to being in Russia. Take care, Sergey. Thank you. I would love to make such a journey like yours. It's been very educational watching your videos. Thank you. Thank you big time. Uh, we'll go to the cities around the Black Sea. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how it will keep going. Uh, at the, for now, for now, uh, you're uh, keep con contributing this, uh, this trips and arriving with a great pleasure. Drive safe and don't speed over the speed limits. Uh, you know, in, uh, in in Russia, in Russia, now I see that it's it's way uh, way harder to speed. 
them in the United States because, damn, I, I was surprised how many cameras these days, uh, how many cameras these days in, in Russia, you know, they are like every kilometer, all the time. At least in 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 Samara region, in Ulyanovsk region, in the Republic of uh, Tatarstan, the cameras are everywhere. You know, I remember like yet maybe four or three years ago, there wasn't so many cameras, but now these cameras are everywhere. And uh, not to mention the uh, so-called mobile complexes. It's uh, when they just uh, put the camera, the camera. Uh, just just anywhere they move it just on a uh, on a car uh, and uh, just put it anywhere anywhere so in your navigator in your navigator uh, you have all the the uh, how to say stationary all the permanent cameras but you never know I mean your navigator never know where is the mobile camera you see where they install the just uh, mobile complex, you know. It can be anywhere. And I saw already twice like that. So I, I never speed, you know. I don't want to pay the uh, the fines. But I was speeding a lot in the United States, and uh, once I've been even stopped and got a warning ticket. I've got a ticket, but uh, there's no, like, a real fine, but warning only. And I think that the uh, policeman just was, was nice to me, because uh, I, was, I was driving 104 miles an hour, 104 and uh, that happens in Utah. I was, it seems like I was driving like crazy, but uh, it was on that part of uh, Utah where you drive and you're, you see like at least two miles before you. Uh, and you see that there's nobody, nobody, nobody around, you know? And so I was, I was speeding, but I was speeding like uh, in a really like, a relatively safe place yes there's what the flatlands the red rocks uh, from the left yes 104 miles an hour and he stopped me and uh, I guess uh, my best was that I never tried to say that oh I never noticed or something like that I said that uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah, like, my, my fault, I said my fault, but look, here is just nobody, such a long road, and a nice car, and I was just driving, and yeah, so he just, you know, he just, he, he saw that we're Russians, actually, this is the first thing. Second thing, uh, he asked if this is a rental car. I said that yes. And uh, the third thing that I was not trying to uh, to play with him, like, oh, like I never knew, like, or something like that. I admitted that I, I, I was not right from the very beginning. And uh, he said that, okay, warning only. And I had that ticket, there was warning only. But I've heard that for 104, I actually could be even arrested, even arrested. Not just a fine, but to be arrested. I was pulled over in Utah in 2003 for driving too slow. We were lost. The policeman let us go and even helped lead us to our destination. Utah is a nice place. 
Yes, I loved Utah. I loved Utah, and especially the location where I have stopped. Uh, if you watched that video, uh, one of my uh, subscribers, uh, there's a family, um, wife and uh, husband and their daughter. And look, they have uh, such a, you know, nice big ranch house, one, one story ranch house. And uh, there's on the backyard, there's nothing but just a red uh, rocks. Uh, and it, it was nice. Also, seems like uh, the, the guy is uh, a fan of uh, uh, solar energy and stuff like that, you know, because he had a Tesla Model S. Uh, his wife had uh, another electric car, not a Tesla, but another electric car. And also on the roof, there was a lot of solar panels. It was interesting. Vika Baklukova. Вот я тебя сделал в драту, только не муди там ничего. Окей, дюдс. It's time to go. It's time to go. Uh, thank you very much for watching all the questions and of course for your contribution. We, uh, the, uh, the show is keep going. Oh yeah, and don't forget likes, okay? Likes, give likes if you're not yet in the end of this live stream. Bye for now. Не пиши там это всякое. Good night, Sergey and family. Thank you. Kathy Norris, Thotha Sang, Fika Vuklikova. Boy, good night. Thank you for watching us from Kazan. So thanks for love. Thank you all. Big sign. Bye. See you tomorrow.